Okay, folks. Let me get rid of this guy right here. Okay, um, so jot form. Jot form. Let me uh, see if I can. Oh, I can't enlarge it, so I'll just go like this so you can see up here. Jotform.com. Jotform is um, it's actually a very sophisticated software. It's free. I mean, you, you can upgrade, but for what we're doing, you don't have you won't have to do that, you know, ever. Um, and it will get you the page that I showed you, or, or that I will show you if you haven't seen it yet. And this is kind of like a, a temporary solution until the company comes out with the lead capture pages. Uh, the page is just something that I threw together, and if you want to use it, I'm going to show you how to create a job form account and then how to clone the page that I made really really easily and quickly by just putting in the URL and clicking a button okay and then you will have your own um, and it will function as far as a person going there and filling out a form and then you get the lead they send you the lead it also records it in your job form account back office so you can go so it's a it's a lead capture page um, and as you and when you see the page you'll see that you know I mean it's very functional there's videos on it and really everything that you need and, and I'll make more I'll probably make more you know different pages so that you have a little something to choose from okay so um, I'm just going to show you the process and if those of you that, that want you know that, that want to use it you can so you'll just see here um, I'm at jotform.com just go to jotform.com this is a really simple sign up you know you would push that button right there and it will take you to this page and then I mean I don't need to explain any of this stuff to you right you just fill it out make sure you record your username your password create your account and then you would go back and so now you have your account and then you'll go and you'll log into your account of course and hopefully my robo form has this and it's oh hold on <laughs> well you won't be able to see this anyway so let's see I use this robo form thing because otherwise I'd be in a world of hurt trying to remember all the passwords and usernames that I need because I do a lot of stuff. Okay, so this thing's going to log me in. Uh, and so this is, this is um, you know, my back office of JotForm. And you'll see here, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this one because I'm going to show you how to do this. Yeah, Jot Form 4, that just means that they've just come out with Jot Form 4.0, which is the builder part of the page, which is actually what we're going to be using. Um, but this is popping up because I'm on a different computer than what I record, than what I um, did my uh, Jot Form account on. So I'm just trying to, you know, I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, and so, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is the form that I made, and this is just the name that I gave it. You'll be able to change this name. So, if, so when you, after you clone the form and you have it, when you go to My Forms, and you'll see it up here too, My Forms, right there, My Forms, that will take you to this page. This is also where a person would create a form, you know, and once you get the hang of this, you might want to do that. You might want to create your own form, but for now, you're just going to be able to clone the one that I already made because I did that for you, so it'll be easy, um, and you will see it after you clone it. You will see it here. You wouldn't see it when you first start because you haven't made one yet. So anyway, I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to click on Edit Form. And bear with me because I got to kind of remember where to go for everything that I want to show you. Okay, um, so I'm just going to the the form, the page. So this is the form of this page, and this is actually Jot Form 4.0 here. You can switch to Form 3. They're basically the same. the The four is just kind of an advanced version. 
Okay, and um, when you're building a form, you would just go here and then you would, you would, um, let me see, let me pull this over if I can. You pull that over and you'll see here you would use, you would use this stuff um, to build your form with, but I don't want to confuse you with all that right now. I'm just going to show you how to do um, one thing while I'm on this page. So here's the form, okay? This is the form. Um, that you're going to clone. Like I said, very functional. And I'll probably make a couple more with slightly different headers. And, and it's really, really simple. If you want to change the color of this, this dark blue, maybe you don't like the dark blue. I just chose it out of the color chart. It looked okay to me, so I made the page. Okay. Um, and so, you know, you can change any of this. It's super, super easy to change this stuff. Um, and you would just go over here and, you know, you, you just drag and drop. You would you drag... Well, actually, if you just wanted to, to edit it once you make your form, you would just click on it and properties, and then you just edit it over here, right? You would change the header, you would change the sub, you can change the, all this stuff. Let's get rid of that. And you, you could go down here and you just click on the little pencil every time you want to change something, so you click on that. And that opens that up and see now you just have a simple what you see is what you get editor and you can you can change any of this stuff okay we're just gonna leave it you you can you could you could get rid of this video um, you know by trashing it out and then you could put it you could pull over you could you could go down here and find um, text Where's the video? Oh, widgets. Okay, if you wanted the text, you would go to the widgets. Come on, man. Get over there. Alright. And you can see all this stuff that you can drag over into your page and do it. Anything you want. Right? I mean, <laughs> it's actually too much stuff. I did this in three. It's a little bit more simple. You might want to do it in three because there's actually too much to choose from in here. And it's, it's, it's a little overwhelming, actually. There's so much stuff here. Um, look at this. This is ridiculous. We'll go to three to do that. So, I'm just showing you where you build the thing, okay? And then over here, on this other side, let me pull it over. On this other side, you got this little thing here. You just click on here. And this is where you change the colors. You can see here, see where this is navy? The form color. That's this. Boink, boink. That's that. If you wanted to change the color of it, you would just change the color of it here. You've got the page color white, which is the surrounding. So, if you wanted a different background color, you could do that if you wanted an image behind it you can put an image behind it the font color all this stuff so you can see how to do this if you wanted a totally different theme but you get the idea that's your form designer anyway I need to get back because I just want to show you guys how to um, clone the form that I made okay so I better get the URL when you're ready to publish your form, you just go here. You click on publish. All I want to do is copy the link. So that's why I came over here. I just want to. This is the URL to the form that I made. If I clicked on that, it would show on the internet. So I'm going to copy the link. Now I'm going to see where this says back to my forms. Remember I said the page my forms. That's where your, your forms are kept. So I'm just going to click on that. Now it's taking me back here, and we're back at the My Forms page again. See, My Forms, um, and there's My Form. Now, I'm going to show you how to clone a form. I'm going to click on Create Form. This is what you will do to clone the form that I made. You're going to click on Create Form. You're going to go here to Import Form. Right there. Imp this is so easy, you guys. 
import form. You got two choices um, from a web page because you're going to take my URL, which is obviously a web page, and you're and you're going to clone. So and then it just says enter the URL. And so you enter the URL. That's why I copied it. So you you entered the URL. And this would be you doing this, and then you just click continue. Okay, and all right, so it took me back to this page, but I just need to go back here, back to my forms. Back. So now you will see the clone of this page. This is what you will see in your JotForm back office. When you do that, you're going to have this. Okay, um, so now this page belongs to you, and you can go here, click on that, and you can... Click on Edit Form if you want to make any changes. Okay, so we're back here. So here you are if you want to make any changes, and I showed you this already. But now, you want to be able to set it up so that if when somebody goes to your page and fills out the form, right, um, you're going to get the email notification. So this is where you do that. You go to Settings, and then you go to Email right there right oh by the way while you're here on settings if you want you're going to want to change the name of the you, you don't want it to be called this because that's what's going to show up in your browser um t on your browser tab you're going to be able to name this page anything you want you just change that okay but go to emails the notification and i'm pretty sure that you're going to have all this because this comes as part of the form but you're just going to edit this this is the email that you get. So you're going to edit this um, regarding form title. So that will have regarding the name of the page. So you recognize, so you know it's for this. And then it's going to give you the name of the person and their email address. Okay. In fact, I did this as a test and took a picture of it to show you. By the way, that's the thank you page that people get. It's a little bit hard to read because it's dark blue. But let's see. I can't see these because my camera's right in the way. Okay, so this is the email you're going to get. It's from Job Form, and it tells you that this person, and I obviously I did this. This person named Test Tester with this email address just filled out your form at your page. So that's that. Now there's also an autoresponder attached to this. So you're just going to go back one, and there's your autoresponder. So you're going to want to edit that, okay? You're going to want to take out my name out of here because this is what the email is going to say. Now this is for the person who fills out the form. This isn't the notification to you anymore. This is for the person who filled out the form. This is what they're going to get. So they would get an email from me that would say, Hi, John, or whoever it is. We have received your response for I, Galen, whatever the name of my page was. Okay, and you just do that by putting in this code. Then down here, there's only you know this. Uh, this is what I put. I I edited this. Thanks for your interest. My name is Brett Gurney. Well, you're gonna want to just take that out of there and put your name in if you want to keep that or change this whole thing. It doesn't matter. I just wrote I'm a platinum distributor with I Galen. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Until then, here's another video you can watch. And then um. And then um, it's going to have their name and email address down here so that they know that that's something that they did. It'll help them remember or whatever. And I took a picture of that too so that you can see it. Where is it? Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, this is the email that they're going to get. As, and you can, you can make this so that it comes from you. Okay, you can see this here. It came from me. Uh, and then, hi, test tester, it could have been Paul Smith, whatever. We have received your response for I, Galen, Emulin Launch, get the info, which is the name of my page, and you'll recognize this. So you can change all of this. So this is a really cool tool that anybody can use. Um, and that's really all about, okay, if you wanted to change the thank you page, one more thing, you would go, you know, you're still on the settings page, you would go here to the thank you page, um, show a thank you page which is this or you can redirect redirect it to 
your own. If you want to make your own thank you page, you can do that. And then after you've made changes, you just go up here to publish and you get your link, which would be different, a little bit different from this. And then you can preview it and all this stuff. So, um, you know, I went over a little bit, but that's J Jot Form. I'll do a post about this so that um, you can see the page and get the URL for the page so that you know how to clone. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for checking it out. And I hope you get something out of this. Bye.